uh, the fixed point iteration method is uh, will be used uh, to solve uh, any general problem of of the form x equal to g of x okay uh, this is nothing but recasting of the original problem in in this particular form if this problem we were to write write down as 0 equal to g of x minus x this guy becomes our f of x and f of x equal to 0 is is going to be the form that we have looked at so far okay uh, now the question is uh, whether x equal to g of x is going to be unique and the answer of course is no if we look at the previous uh, the example that we have been uh, looking at in uh, uh, in this particular module that was 2 minus x plus ln of x equal to 0 one way we can write this as x uh, is equal to 2 plus ln x in that particular case this becomes our g of x the other way to write write this uh, this as is ln of x is going to be equal to x minus 2 or x is going to be uh, e to the power x minus 2 okay uh, so this this is going to be the other possibility of g of x okay so x equal to 2 plus ln x is also uh, x uh, is also one way of writing this and this is also the other way of writing this so uh, there is nothing unique about uh, which which way which way we, we can choose in order to uh, write this part this particular exp expression okay so now what do we do in the fixed point iteration is is as follows we will use that particular equation as an update equation so first point is start with one initial guess okay we will write x i plus 1 equal to nothing but g of x i I will use this left facing arrow to signify that the value computed as g of x i is going to be assigned to f uh, to x i plus 1 okay. So we start with initial guess we use g of x of i uh, and assign it to x i plus 1 verify whether uh, x i plus 1 minus x x i is less than epsilon if it is indeed the solution is reached if it is not the solution is not reached and we keep uh, continuing this particular method uh, over and over again uh, one of the method one of the problems actually with the fixed point iteration method is that uh, it is not guaranteed to converge under all conditions uh, often times we will encounter a situation in which uh, x i plus 1 keeps diverging uh, away from the solution as uh, uh, you know uh, as we try to solve this particular problem uh, what we will do is we will just uh, now look at uh, again the use excel in order to look at how the fixed point iteration is going to work uh, and then we will uh, look at uh, essentially the graphical interpretation of uh, the fixed point iteration method okay. okay so so far what we have done in uh, the previous lecture and this lecture is looked at the bisection method regular falsi method and the secant method all of these methods essentially used two initial guesses uh, as the uh, as uh, for for finding the solution now we will go to fixed point 
iteration. Fixed point iteration method works essentially with only one initial guess and let us just increase the sizes over here. Yes, and we will also increase the font size, so that it is easier for all of you guys to see. And the problem that we are interested to solve is, is the same problem as before. Okay, so, we will just copy this. Okay, so, this is the problem that we are interested in solving and we will solve it in two different ways. I will call those two ways as fixed point iteration 1 and fixed point iteration 2. Uh, so, we will just format the cells and merge the cells and we have fixed point iteration 1 sorry that should be fixed point iteration 1 and co copy this and call this as fixed point iteration number 2. Okay. The difference between fixed point iteration 1 and fixed point iteration 2 is what we will do is in fixed point iteration 1 is take minus x to the right hand side and write this equation as x equal to 2 plus ln of x. So, we will write this equation as x, x equal to 2 plus ln of x. Okay. So, that is the, uh, the way we are going to uh, do the first fixed point iteration and the second fixed point iteration, I will just insert one row over here, so that uh, it is clearer to visualize. In the second fixed point iteration, we take uh, 2 minus x on to the right hand side and take the overall exponent of that. So, we will get uh, x equal to e to the power x minus 2. So, this we, we can write it as ln of x is going to be equal to x minus 2, right. So, we have taken x minus 2 on to the right hand side and now we take an exponent and that will give us essentially x equal to e to the power x minus 2. Okay, and we will write this as e x p exponent of x plus 2 and just change the font to our favorite times new roman, so that it is easier to see. Okay, so, the two ways of do solving using the fixed point iteration is uh, one to write this particular equation as x equal to 2 plus ln x, other is to write that equation as x equal to exponent of x minus 2. Okay. And the same way as before, iteration, the first, the initial guess is x of i, g of x of i okay. and x of i, uh, we will, let us say we will start off with 4 uh, over, over here g of x of i is going to be nothing but 2 plus ln of x of i okay. and this is what we get. Uh, at the second iteration, uh, x of i plus 1 is nothing but g of x of i. So, this is going to be equal to this guy and as you see implementation of fixed point iteration is so much simpler in excel compared to any of the other methods and that is all we need essentially. We do not need anything else and we just keep drag, dragging it maybe let us say up to say 15 iterations and we will also plot the error okay. and the error is nothing but absolute value of the difference between the current solution and the previous solution. Okay. And our stopping criterion is essentially where the overall error ends up being less than 10 to the power minus 4. 10 to the power minus 4 was the tolerance value that we had used and as before we will just uh, highlight the, the final solution over here. So, the final solution again we get is 3.1462. 
keep in mind that the various solutions that we have gotten from say the secant method is again 3.14619 since our error criterion was 10 to the power minus 4 it is essentially up to that particular digit that we can be confident of the solution not to the digit after that. So, we can confidently say that the solution is in, in fact 3.1462 we cannot say anything about the last digit in that solution and that is what we, if, we, if we just keep comparing with all the other methods that is what we will we will see 6.1462, 6.1462, 6.1462 and 6.1462 is what we get as as the solution uh, using all of these methods. Okay. So, this was one way of uh, essentially using the fixed point iteration. Now, let us let us look at what uh, what happens if we start with let us say a very large value 10. If we start with a very large value for fixed point iteration, we we are able to again converge to that same same solution 6 3.1462. Let us say we start with a value of say 2. Again we find that when we start with value of 2 we have reached again 3.146. Let us say what happens when we start with a value of 1 again we reach the same value as 3.146 and what happens if we start with value of let us say 0 0.2 again we are reaching 3.146. So, you see what is happening is that when we write down this solution as x equal to 2 plus ln x no matter what initial guess we use for for this particular method we are getting our solution uh, to essentially go to uh, uh, the uh, the value uh, 3.1462 okay uh, that's one of the things that happens with fixed point iteration using the fixed point iteration in this particular form we will not be able to get to the solution which we got i think the, the other solution was 0 0.15 we will not be able to get to that solution even if we start at 0 0.1 what we will get we will get an error. So, I have written this as 0 0.1 and I click enter and I get an error. The reason why I get an error essentially is that the next guess of x i plus 1 is a negative value and log of a negative value is not defined. Okay, so, let us go back to what where we started off with we started off with the initial guess of x i equal to 4 and with the guess of x i equal to 4 we get the convergence in 10 iterations. Okay. So, that was the fixed point iteration number 1 using uh, x equal to g of x written like this. The other possibility to write x equal to g of x is to write, write it in this particular form. In this, this case g of x is e to the power x minus 2. Okay. We will start with x i equal to 4 and see what happens with g i. g i is nothing but e x p of x minus 2 okay, and that is the value that we, we get over here at the second iteration x i plus 1 equal to g of x of i okay, and then g i plus 1 we can just drag that over here and error is nothing but absolute value of the difference. Okay. So, this is what we have and all we need to do is drag it and let us drag it again for 15 iterations and again you will see something funny that is happening as soon as I release the mouse button and what 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 is what happens is this is if we start with an initial guess x i equal to 4 i will end up diverging. So, this what what we get is we get our x uh, guess to go towards infinity uh, 10 to the power 20 uh, we started with 4 from 4 we went to 7 from 7 we went to 219 from 219 we went to 1 e 94 and essentially from 1 e 94 we would have gone to infinity. Okay. Uh, that is what happens if if you start with a poor initial guess like 4 in, in, in this particular case. Let us see what happens if we half this particular value from 4 to 2 and this is what we get. So, we start with x i equal to 2 we get go to g i equal, equal to 1 from 1 we go to 0.36 so on and so forth and we reach the other solution. Uh, so, starting with x i equal to 2 again we are reaching the, the other solution and not this particular solution 
let us start with x i equal to 3 and see where we get. Again with x i equal to 3, we are getting to the solution 0 0.15. In fact, if we start with x i very close to the other to the solution, let us say 3.14, even in the case when we started with 3.14, which was very close to the true solution 3.146 what we find over here is that our solution still goes to the other solution 0 0.1586. So, in the fixed point iteration using x equal to e to the power x minus 2 converges to the solution 0 0.1587 and not to the solution 3.1462 no matter how close to 3.1462 uh, we start. Okay. And if we start with say 3.2 we will diverge. So, if we start beyond the second solution, uh, our uh, fixed point iteration is diverging using x equal to e to the power x minus 2. Okay. So, just to finish this off, starting with x i equal to 1, uh, our stopping criterion is that the error should fall below 10 to the power minus 4. So, this is going to be our solution. 0 0.1586. So, that is the solution using fixed point iteration, the method 2. Uh, what, what we just saw is essentially that uh, the fixed point iteration under certain conditions it converges to the solution, under certain other conditions uh, the fixed point iteration is uh, not going to converge to the solution. Uh, the particular problem was chosen such that uh, we will not have big problems with the fixed point iteration method. Uh, in the next lecture, what we will do is we will cover essentially how uh, the fixed point iteration converges and uh, under what conditions is the fixed point iteration not going to converge.